gonna tell you this. Yeah, I'm, yeah. See, I'm gonna <laughs> tell like you this. <laughs> Nigerian jollof is actually better than Ghanaian jollof. Mm. Like, and I have seen, like, I have eat. I've been to Ghana. Hey, sister have, Hilda. So because you cook for four days and you won't get a sword record, so right now what? You think you are the whole African dining hall prefect or what? what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. And now, if you go on Twitter, Hilda Bassi is trending number one. They are dragging her and cooking her because of what she said on a podcast four days ago. Four days ago, Hilda Bassi went on a podcast. She said a lot of things. Now, two of the things that she said resurfaced just last night. One, she said something about Nigerian men and Ghanaian women. And then two, she spoke about Niger Jolof and Ghana Jolof. Now, one of the issues, everybody is cool about it. The second issue, no. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, she is really receiving heat on Twitter. I have the full gist. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Almost at 100k. Yes, let's get there before the year ends. I'm the headless YouTuber. There's headless reactions. Ala tare. Yanko! A week or two ago, Hilda Bassi posted that she's in London and because of that, the um, Guinness World Record people said they want to see her, she should come to their office. Fine. Now, a few days after that, Hilda Bassi went on a podcast called Nighty's Baby Show. And the podcast was published four days ago. Now, the whole podcast is like two hours, 15 minutes. But she said some things in the podcast that yesterday, a lady called Eviana went to pull those clips and brought it on Twitter. And that is where the Oja started. The first one, she spoke about Ghanaian women liking Nigerian men more than Ghanaian men. That if you put a Nigerian man here and you put a Ghanaian man here, a Ghanaian woman will choose a Nigerian man. Watch this video. <laughs> you know, and I'm just like, yeah, so like, honestly, give it to Nigeria, man. Nah, yeah, man. Like, God, yeah. Stand Sweet up. Tag. <laughs> I, you know what? What, Speaking of hair, I have to rep my people. What's this? <laughs> well, you, know, you know that this is just for sure. This I don't what care. Doing, it's just for sure. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> ask, ask, ask 20 Ghanaian women if, yeah. they, would, if they would mind. Mm. Of course like, they would. Put Nigerian Whoa. men. Ask put him. Ask where, him. Where's your wife from? From Ghana. She's from Ghana. Right, but no, exactly. that's an anomaly. You're making my point for me. No, mm. most of the Ghanaians marry Ghanaians. No, you say what? Yeah, we marry. It's we because most of that's them. what is in their forefront. Exactly. It's, so, in, it's what's in there before. It's, exactly. it's a proximity marriage. Maybe we send some Nigerian men to Ghana. Yes. What are we talking about? Nigerian your men, men will are marrying a white woman from America, bro. <laughs> they would never see their friend. They did it for papers. What's going on here? Now, this one there, yeah, it is quite subjective because there are some Ghanaian women who prefer Nigerian men to Ghanaian men because Nigerian men know how to treat women, right? And in terms of, like, providing food and money and stuff like that. Fine. So this one, no. There are mixed opinions. So nobody is really angry about it. And then she said that Nigeria Jollof is better than Ghana Jollof. Now, this is where everybody in Ghana... And all the truthful Nigerians who will not lie just because of nationality are angry because we all know that Ghana Jollof is better than Nigeria Jollof. So they are cooking her. This is what she said on the podcast. No, no, Hilda, tell but them how I, you smoke I actually, them. I actually beat Ghana. There you go. Tell them how you, you smoke them. Yeah, actually tell them how you yeah, smoke them. them. You, you're a special cook. But see, I'm going to tell you this. See, I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> Nigerian jollof is actually better than Ghanaian jollof. Mm. Like, and I have seen, like, I have eaten, I've been to Ghana, mm -hmm. I have eaten the jollof, I have come, like, I've done a competition with a Ghanaian chef that yep, made, yep, yep, yep. like, for him, that was, like, his best, like, representation of Ghanaian jollof. And I have seen the recipe, not one. You guys have quite a number. Mm -hmm. So you have the tolobifi one. You yes, have, that you, one's you know, delicious. yes. What's that one? So it's like, it's, 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 Pretty much jollof, but mm. it's just made with oh beef. basic like okay. a, yeah, it's like no, beef don't, don't don't but let me tell I you, I need to pick my side. Let me I need tell to be you what it is. Exactly. I won't get jollof rats. I don't know because I didn't. I wasn't there, and I don't have a lot of information. I cannot say <laughs> why like this is, but with Nigerian jollof, Nigerians don't play about flavor building. Mm. So like we're very intentional about building the flavors yeah. and a lot of things going. So mm. there's a stock going in here. Mm. There's a spice going in there. Mm. The quality of the jollof mix now. Ghanaians tend to make their jollof rice. The, the, the major base is more the paste. Mm. 
mm-hmm. than the um, the jollof mix, which is like right. the one you make yourself. Right. Right. Okay. And and that ha- that actually goes a long way in ensuring that it you know the, the yeah flavor. it tastes okay. it, the, the all, flavor all comes out through. great. Right, yeah. And then Ghanaians don't smoke their jollof rice, mm. and you guys don't know. Mm. How like imagine making like banging jollof fries mm-hmm. and then smoking it unsmoked mm. like <laughs> so it's just smoke. like that in itself. You know, you like so we, that's, that's why we that's smoking your food. Like so that's the hey, thing. Hey, you like it's food. not burnt <laughs> food. <laughs> Good comeback. That's good. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I honestly like the, see nah, if it's not burnt at the base, it's not slapping. <laughs> No, no, that's no, a good yeah, point. No, see, like, that, see, point. And I don't know why. Yeah, I, see, I don't know why they'll be the going thing. back and forth yeah, with us. Because you guys have some good things that we're not dragging um, with you. Like mm. they, like their shiton. We, yeah, you yeah. don't see no Nigerian yeah. coming to come and drag <laughs> shiton with yeah. you. Yeah. No, no, like, no, 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 no. I can't wait to win Guinness World Record so that I can say that Ghana pizza is better than Italian pizza. Now with this one that she said, no. If you go and check the comment section, a lot of people are angry. Now, some people brought out some facts. But before we get to the facts, no, is it true that Hilda Basti beat a Ghanaian chef in Nigeria over Jollof? Is it true? Secondly, who is this chef? Now, in 2021, there was a Jollof face-off competition that happened in Nigeria. And Hilda Basti representing Nigeria beat Ghana's Leslie Kumoji. Now, this Leslie Kumoji, you know, he is not a chef. He is just, you know, a normal person, a random person who heard that, oh, they are doing Ghana Jollof. They are doing Jollof competition. So he wanted to go and just go and try. It is like we all know that Sarkodia cooks Jollof. So Sarkodia will hear that, oh, there is some Jollof competition here. He said, oh, the way Tracy likes my Jollof and Luda Chris likes my Jollof, Ice Prince likes my Jollof, Whiskey likes my Jollof. Let me go and try. That is it. And then this man went to try. And Hilda Bassi, a chef, won. And now I'm crying, it's a lie because it happened in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> and so she received $5,000. That was the cash price. And this was in 2021. Now, when this news came out, some people have come to debunk this whole Hilda Bassi saying, hey, you know, there's this lady called the Mukasi Chick. And this is what she came to write. She said, first of all, the gentleman you had the competition with wasn't a chef. I was one of the judges. The gentleman that you beat, no, he wasn't a chef. Most importantly, I am disappointed in this statement because everyone supported you regardless of which country we came from or which jollof we make. So the whole thing is like a professional um, footballer from Ghana the best footballer in Ghana, a professional world and a world acclaimed footballer in Ghana, will go to Brazil and go and play football against a coconut seller in Brazil and win and come and brag. <laughs> <laughs> and you go, you go and do a competition against an ordinary person, but you won. And that is it. Because of that, you know, this, the way they are dragging hell that night. Now, people are wondering, say, if this lady is saying her jollof is better than Ghana jollof and she won, how does she cook her jollof? Now, when we went to her TikTok, we saw a video of her teaching how to cook jollof. And you're not that awful. Watch this video. Hi, guys. The recipe you should. definitely try. You're going to start with some butter, some onions, and then you go in with some sesame oil, a little bit of your pepper mix, and some seasoning cubes. Now, you stir fry this for a bit, and then you go in with your washed raw rice and some cooked honey beans. I recommend you use honey beans for this recipe. Then you're going to stir fry this for at least four to five minutes, and then you take it out and start the base for your jollof rice. You're going to put your vegetable oil, your onions, your curry powder, and then you go in with your tomato paste. Now, you want to stir fry this tomato paste for at least seven to eight minutes to ensure that it's no longer tangy then you'll go in with your jollof mix now once you put in the jollof mix you want to fry it for another six to seven minutes so that everything jollofs together then you add in your meat stock i use turkey stock but you can use anything you like allow it to come up to a boil to start to look like stew then you put in the rest of your jollof rice spices and then the water to cook the rice allow it to come up to a boil and then you're going to add in that your flavored fried 
fried rice and beans guys can you see where the holy spirit is leading us to now cover this with filter trapping all the heat but don't abandon it here make sure that you come and check on it momentarily lift and turn so what is down comes up and your rice cooks perfectly and evenly i just added some stir fried turkey and onions to it i covered it and allow it Imagine and tabo allowed it to come up to a burn just to give me that smoky flavor and there you have it guys all of rice and beans that went to have had exactly 10 days until registration for my class ends have you registered <laughs> 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 Some, Niger some Ghanaians, I can't wait to go to Ghana. I haven't yeah. gone there since oh. like the cookathon. I, like, oh, I intend oh, to you do did like the a cookathon in Ghana. No, no, no. I oh. did. I haven't gone there. Like I oh. went there before the cookathon, oh, right, but right, I haven't right, gone cool, there cool. since then. And I love Ghana. I actually mm. do. Like I yeah, love. Yeah, yeah. You know, I I like it, but I, I don't know. You guys just be trying. Mm -hmm. They're just trying. Trying. It's a lovely beef, though. It never gets too serious. It's cute. That's yeah, it never gets too serious. That's what I love about the yeah, beef yeah, between yeah, Ghanaians yeah, yeah. and Nigerians. It ends on Twitter. Always, yeah, right, right. It right, ends right. on Twitter. And we just mm. laugh about it. And yeah, then, that's like, it. It's I just love cute. And then we're still serious. like. And then if anybody comes to us, we're together. Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, exactly. At the end of the day, we know Ghana and Nigeria, the Jolo Fours, it happens every time. There's always a war between Ghana and Nigeria concerning Jolo. But please. Don't let this be a yardstick to come and hate Hilda Bassi. She's a Nigerian. Definitely, she's going to stand behind Nigeria in this war. There are some Nigerians who have tried Ghana Jollof, and they know deep in their heart, in their capillary and arteries, that Ghana Jollof is better than Nigeria Jollof. But because of, you know, the way Nigerians are very, very supportive when it comes to national issues, they do not accept, even though when they go home and they go and sleep, they will tell their brother Kelechuku, Kelechuku, that Ghana Jollof is chop. And they think of her more. And they... <laughs> 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 let me know what you think about this whole issue, about Hilda Bassi, about Ghana Jollof. Share your views in the comment section, but please don't insult too much. Let me know what you think. If you have family members in the UK, in the USA, in Canada, and you want them to send you money, tell them that the best app to send the money through is Lemfi. Lemfi is an app that you can use to send money from USA, from UK, from Canada to 10 African countries, including Ghana. And the best part is it attracts zero transaction fees. No transaction fees at all for sending money to your loved ones. Go to the description, you will see a referral link over there. Download the app with the referral link. Or if you've already downloaded the app, use my promo code HEADLESS and you get $30 cash back for your first transaction that you do that's over $250. So tell your family and friends, if they want to send you money, they should use Lemfi. And I don't know. Yeah, then. Yeah,